Welcome back everyone. Uh, in this video, we'll be looking at another example on uh, linear programming for NC level 3 at Achieve level. I would strongly advise you to watch my previous video. We have gone through the uh, um, processes and skills. Now, to achieve, you will need to demonstrate uh, at least two different uh, skills in solving uh, linear programming problems uh, presented in context. So some of the skills um, covered will be linear programming uh, processes or steps, uh, graphing uh, in equations using Desmos. I've covered this in my previous video. Uh, please do check that one out. Um, you'll uh, see how we can obtain a feasible region uh, using Desmos and then um, uh, find the optimal solution. So second example, uh, a local restaurant uh, sells two kinds of desserts, uh, frozen desserts and uh, jelly desserts. Uh, the restaurant owner knows that they must make at least 25 dozen and no more than 45 dozen frozen desserts. Uh, they must also make a minimum of two dozen and at most 15 dozen uh, jelly desserts. And then each dozen of uh, frozen dessert uh, takes uh, five kilograms of sugar while each dozen of uh, jelly desserts uh, requires uh, 9 kilograms of uh, sugar. The restaurant only has uh, 315 kilograms of sugar available and a dozen of uh, frozen desserts generate a profit of $30, uh, whereas a dozen of um, jelly uh, dessert uh, generate a profit of uh, $25. Uh, and then the question says, uh, how many dozen of each type of desserts should the uh, restaurant make uh, to uh, maximize profit? We need to define the variables. So um, let X be number of dozens of um, uh, frozen desserts and uh, Y be the number of uh, dozens of jelly desserts. And what I've done is I've created a table uh, from the um, problem that was in context. So frozen dessert uh, is uh, denoted by X, uh, jelly uh, is Y, and then we, we the ingredient was sugar in this case. So five uh, for frozen, five kilograms, nine kilograms uh, for uh, jelly, and the total available was uh, 315. So we then we'll uh, write the objective function. So in this case, we are maximizing profit and profit is given by 30x plus 25y, $30 profit from uh, frozen desserts and 25 from the jellied one. So that's how we got this objective function. Then we'll write the um, systems of inequations. So in this case, uh, we use the ingredient sugar and it's uh, 5x plus 9y is less than or equal to uh, 315 kilograms because that's the uh, maximum that's available. And then, of course, uh, this one here, uh, the non-negativity uh, constraints. In this case, it's not greater than or equal to zero because um, we were given the information that um, the uh, restaurant must make at least 25 dozen and no more than 45. So at least means greater than or equal to, so X is greater than or equal to 25, and no more than means uh, less than or equal to 45. Please do watch my previous video where, where I've given the key phrases that go with these inequalities uh, for your reference. So I've got the inequality here, X is less than or equal to 45. Likewise for the, um, jelly desserts it says a minimum of two dozen so uh, y is greater than or equal to two and at most which is less than or equal to 15 so we've got those uh, two constraints there and then uh, we will need to graph this of course on desmos and i'll quickly show you how to do that it's pretty straightforward so once you go on um, desmos.com you'll uh, find the online graphing calculator. So I'll enter the uh, functions here. So we had uh, 5x plus uh, 9y, and then is less than equal to uh, 315 kilograms were available. And then uh, we have x in between uh, 25, Right and 45, so less than or equal to 45. Uh, right, dozens of those, and then uh, we had uh, between 2 and 15, so 2, and this was for the GLE one, less than or equal to uh, 15. Enter now. If you can't see the feasible region straight away, so you can just uh, zoom out. 
So when I zoom out, I can uh, clearly see the feasible region. So this is where the um, clients intersect. Now, if it's hard for you to see the um, points of intersection, I would suggest you can uh, use shading out um, method that I have shown you in the other video. So this is shading in and I can see this is where the feasible region is and these are the vertices that will uh, 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 These are the vertices for this uh, feasible region, which we will be using uh, In the objective function next to uh, see which one gives uh, maximum profit uh, Please do watch my previous video on uh, the other method which is shading out which will leave the um, feasible region uh, uh, unshaded area. Uh, it's easy to spot uh, the uh, feasible region that way. So if you have difficulty spotting where it is, uh, you just need to reverse these signs. All right. So now I've got the um, feasible region clearly identified, and uh, I also know the vertices for uh, that feasible region. So now I'll use these vertices and substitute this in the objective function and see which one gives the maximum profit. Uh, so I suggest if you could pause the video and uh, work this out uh, uh, quickly yourself and see if your answer matches with these. So in this case, uh, as you can see, um, if I go, um, so remember this uh, 25 represents the X value and two is the Y value. So make sure you substitute it in the right spot. So 30, x means 30 times whatever x is so 30 times 25 plus 25 times the y value and y coordinate here is 2 so 25 times 2 gives you 800 dollars likewise you fill in the rest and work it out and in this case you can see the maximum profit is uh, 1600 dollars and then you write a sentence a local restaurant owner should make 45 dozens of uh, frozen dessert and 10 dozens of uh, jelly dessert to maximize this profit and you can see that uh, over here $1,600 is the maximum profit where the X value which was frozen dessert is 45 and the Y value which represents uh, jelly dessert is 10 and this will give him a maximum profit of $1,600 okay, I hope this makes sense so I suggest you can pause the video and uh, try this yourself thanks for watching I'll see you guys in the next video